This is gold. Zombie eating, take one. I'm not a zombie. All I know is if you're dead but still walking, then that inherently makes you a zombie. It's just logical and so commercial. I'm not a zombie, all right? And there's nothing wrong. <laughs> I play Drex Green. He's this kind of poor, starving college student. You know, he's got student loan payments. He's got classes. He's got um, trying to get a job. He's not great with the ladies. So he's got all these kind of typical problems that maybe uh, you know some someone in their late twenties would have. But on top of it all, he finds out in the opening episode that he's dead. You know they really need a uh, zipper on the inside of this thing. I can't be the first guy who's ever been zipped up in a body bag by mistake. This was a reimagination of the zombie mythology and an allegory for the disconnection of youth. And that was our original high-minded idea. And of course, then it turned into a pretty wacky zombie comedy. The project was this bending of genres. It really attracted me to the idea of a guy becoming a zombie, but he's conscious. So it's completely kind of throwing all the rules out the door. Yet there are the familiar aspects of zombiehood that come to play. You know, he has to eat brains and uh, he has to, he's dead, he doesn't have any vital signs. In the beginning, it's not a pleasant experience, but towards the end, he starts to kind of dig it. Dude, what the hell? I'm drowning and you're making a YouTube video out of it? Digital content online, it's just like this new frontier, this new playground, and everybody kind of wants to be a part of it because there's a lot more freedom. The web is where we're moving. I mean, the integration of uh, everything is going there. And it, it's kind of like all the ships are leaving the old country and you think like, I'll get on. <laughs> you know, otherwise you'll just be eating spoiled potatoes. I don't sit down and say, how am I gonna make this internet show? We sit down and say, how do I make this? My euphemism is a movie. I'm always making a movie. And when we cast it, I'm casting it as if I'm casting anything. You know, we're certainly at the, at the upper edge of cost in terms of the stu stuff that we make, and, uh, and hopefully the quality shows and it's on screen.